Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Performance on Wheels. My name is Austin. This is my dad, Todd. We make all types of different car videos. We've made a lot of Ford Maverick videos this year. I still believe this is the greatest new vehicle that you can buy on the market right now, but it has been a while since we've done a car build here on the channel that we've done a full thorough car build going through in depth on everything that we do to it and introducing the most recent one. This is the 2023 Ford Maverick. does a car build mean to performance on wheels is what you are asking yourself and let me answer that so a while back when we started this channel we started with a very another unsuspecting vehicle we a did Toyota Camry yeah right? and we had so much fun with this we lowered it we put exhaust on it we put whatever performance mods and tunes there were on the market and there were hundreds of thousands of people that joined this journey and had a good time with us and that's essentially what we're going to do with the Maverick as well. Austin just fill us in with what the plans are for the Maverick here. Yeah sure thing so I got a full slot of upgrades that are in store for the Maverick a full slot of videos that we have going on here video number one which we're going to be doing today is we're going to be talking about the first mod that I actually did yesterday thanks to New Ride which is a new company here in the Minneapolis area that is doing up and coming window Ooh. tint and car wrap so Hello. shout out to New Ride for hitting me up with some window tint they Get did a fantastic way. job and they went ahead and matched the back window with the front so I got 20 percent all around on the Maverick except for the windshield I don't like doing that because I can't really see at night super right. well that's so important. thanks to New Ride for that however today we're also going to be doing some wheels so that's going to be step that's, number yeah. one because I think the Steelys they got to go if we're doing a car build I think that's something very important and it's going to change the look of the Maverick substantially so I, I have seen some other Mavericks that have some wheels on it but unlike most trucks uh, or vehicles with a bed we're not going to lift this Maverick but we're going to slam it to the ground so we're going to have a video coming up here on lowering the Maverick we're going to do a full full on video on how to lower your Ford Maverick. And not only that, but we also have some interior mods that I've done as well as some necessity exterior mods. So we're gonna go through all of those in separate videos and we're gonna show you guys how to deck out your Maverick for yourself personally. We could really ramble on here. We can go on for a while, but we're gonna try to keep these videos short and to the point. So really let's get rid of these 17s. Let's upsize this Maverick in today's video, three inches. Let's show you what that looks like on the stock suspension. We should really just kind of get started, I think. Let's do it. Here it is, the big unveil. I have to say, I'm not gonna lie, the tinted windows are adding to this simple little mod, just kind of the personalization with some yeah. wheels. Like, it looks pretty darn cool. It right? does, I should, agree. Should we stall or should we just show them? Let's show them. Let's All right, it. let's show them. All right, one, two, three. All right, let's get rid of these ugly 17 inch steelies. Wheel unveil, here they are, boom. Straight from sport tuning, we got a set of 20 inch gloss black wheels with a brand new set of winter tires on here. I managed to pick these up on Facebook Marketplace for only 600 bucks. If you guys are looking for a set of wheels, I highly suggest checking Facebook Marketplace for, well, wheels that are used. This uh, just so happens to have the same bolt pattern as a few other Ford products, such as the Ford Focus RS, such as the Ford Fusion, such as the Range Rover Evoque. Yes, that is right. These are some used wheels off of a Range Rover. So let's throw them on there. Ooh. 
All right, while Austin is continuing to slave away over here, let's just kind of show what we have and the differences we are making uh, because we're gonna get questions about it. So the Continentals that come from the factory on the XL, they're a nice tire for driving on dry roads. Uh, they didn't do very well in the winter last year. Austin found that out on his EcoBoost Maverick. Uh, so the winter tires are definitely going to be a plus, especially with the fact that he no longer has all-wheel drive and he only has front-wheel drive now. So the tire size that we are putting on on these 20s are, let's go, 235, 50, 20, and that is replacing the Continentals. So, so we're sticking with Continentals, a little brand support there. 225, 65, 17s are the factory XL tires going up to the 235, 50, 20. So side by side, that overall height doesn't, ex it doesn't look dramatic yet, but I think you're gonna be surprised once you see this side by side here. We know we're gonna get the comment below, leave a different comment as well, but do the wheels rub? Do these 20 inch wheels rub on the factory uh, ride height? The answer is no, they do not. They do not rub at full lock. They haven't rubbed going over any little bumps. Uh, we will keep you updated on that once the Maverick gets a little lower. Here they are, the new wheels on the Maverick. I got to admit, I do like them <laughs> quite a bit yeah. compared to the Steelys. I mean, it's a huge upgrade. The thing right. looks way, way better. I am super excited to slam this thing to the ground with the window tint and those wheels in this uh, cactus gray color and all the additional black accents. I think this is going to be a pretty cool looking Maverick. Yeah, I'm, and I'm really excited for it. I don't know exactly what offset you have. I don't know if we looked at the back of the wheel. I, I don't know what the offset is on them exactly. It looks good though. Like, oh, it does. From, it, from what I can see, the offset looks solid. No, it actually looks back. looks pretty aggressive in the front and the back. I really like the look of it. Um, I did use that measuring app again on my phone and we're about three inches taller in the front and back. So since the sidewall is so much similar compared to the wheels we took off, I actually we're have those basically facts here. gaining three inches. Okay, what do you got? So here's the fun facts. Uh, it's about a 3% or 2.5% difference, meaning these are 2.5% taller in height, uh, about an inch. Uh, wheel size, obviously we went up by three inches. We lost about an inch in sidewall, okay. so close to an inch. Um, and then the width, we gained uh, about a half inch on the width. Okay, cool. Yeah, well, I, I'm a really big fan of it. I'm really excited to slam this thing down. So in the next coming couple of weeks here, I mean, as soon as the spring show up, we're gonna start working on putting a video out. Great. And as soon as we start having some of this other stuff come in, we're gonna continuously put videos out here in the Maverick. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, basically the start of the Maverick build. There's gonna be a lot of stuff coming in the near few weeks. Uh, so I'm looking forward to getting stuff out on it. Make thank sure you. you guys can stay in tune with what we're doing. Hit that subscribe button so you know what our latest videos are. Yeah, and of course, uh, that C4 that was in the background of our garage, we got a lot of stuff coming out on that. That car is being turned into a go-kart, which is a huge, huge build we're taking on. So if you guys are interested in that, be sure to hit subscribe, hit like, comment down below what you think of the Maverick. See you guys next time. See ya.